think you're king? You do not wear the crown. Uh, no, but I have a throne. So you know what that means. That makes me the boss, mother f Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Today, let's take a look at the Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary series, Oro and Raptor. Glow. And it's been a while since I did a Fortnite review. I think I did uh, uh, that cat thing. <laughs> All right, so I don't know a lot about Fortnite. I can barely remember the names. I'm more of a visual kind of guy, and I'm like, oh, skeleton guy and a cool trooper in weird Halloween colors. So when I get the names, and I'm not saying if, when I get the names of some kind of accessory or something wrong, just know. I, I just like toys, that's it. But I will say, I ordered these from GameStop. The links are down in the description. I ordered them from GameStop Monday night. They showed up this morning, Wednesday morning. FedEx must have heard me talking up DHL and said, uh-oh, we can do two-day delivery too from Texas to Arkansas, which isn't quite Japan to Arkansas, but yeah, hey. It's better than I've been getting from FedEx. Looking at the package, this is exactly what we're used to with this line. We started this line with this kind of packaging. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like we're gonna finish this line with this kind of packaging. Because Jazzwares can only produce the six inchers till the end of this year and then Hasbro takes over. Huge window, you see everything you get here. Some graphics thrown in. I like how minimalistic it is, but it fits the feel. On the side, those same graphics of the characters. Fortnite. On the back, those pictures again. Golden treasure, an eternal obsession. Royale Air Force, test pilot. And then down at the bottom, other characters in the series, and I think we have most of these. Yeah, these are all out. So no hints at future releases, even though we know more coming, <laughs> weekly coming up. On the other side, those graphics and Fortnite again on top, window. On the bottom, legalese, warnings, not suitable for children under 36 months, small parts, choking hazard. Don't put them in your mouth. So let's get these open, starting with Raptor and see what's going on here. He seems to be more reuse than Oro. Probably should have went through the bottom, huh? But the side, eh, as long as I get the figure out, right? Oh, so tight. And I say quite a bit of reuse, but not as much as I thought. It does seem to be based mostly on the Havoc. And it does share the torsos, the bandolier, the collar, same boots, same gloves, and almost same crotch piece. But in a weird twist, Havoc has has two indented lines right here and Raptor doesn't. The arms are different. Havoc has these stitches sculpted on there. That's not just a paint app. Same on this side, stitches and it doesn't have Havoc's raised rank. Then on the legs where Havoc has straps, Raptor has pouches. Well, I say that, the left leg has straps. Is that matching? No, it's a different buckle again. And then looking again, it seems from the knees down is reuse, not just the boots. But reuse can be the name of the game. It's Fortnite. You have different skins for the same characters. It may be just color swaps. But with the Jazzwares line, as much as they've pumped out, there's been less reuse than you would expect. So seeing it here, it's a little bit surprising because Jazzwares, but at the same time, it's not surprising, you know, because of the property. And I love all the colors here, just the darker base of the blue on the costume. That makes the red jump out at you. The buckles are painted silver up here, but then they go red down here and down here. The boots are black, the knee pads are black. The stitches are also painted silver, but there's also some subtle paint apps here and there. There's those red claw marks on the shoulders, but then on the body, there's these, I don't know what the hell these are, silver squares, some kind of markings are on the back up here on the torso but not so much on the butt and the limbs but i think my favorite color is the purple they've brought in at the head there's still some silver there's still some black the red face mask but the purple to the eyes and the mouth gives it a nice glow effect where it's kind of creepy kind of so yeah overall it's another good looking human type character for the line going from human character to oro it's a complete 360 because we get something a little less human and as much as i love this line and the humans and everything this is my bread and butter the off the wall just crazy looking characters and this may not be food item but skeleton warrior type character is no slouch either and I think one of my favorite things about this line is not only are they fantastic translations from game to plastic, but the Jazzwares team also does a great job of turning on a dime and stuffing their articulation scheme into any shape or form. You have a skeleton body, you overlay some parts and pieces to hide it, and you still get the same articulation for the most part. There are some way out there shapes that they've had a tougher time with, but when I got this out of the package, I thought, oh wait, 
they put everything in here too. That's amazing. It's basically a walking skeleton. The way I have the figure angled to the back, that necklace is going to keep going back. But when I have it straight up and down, it wants to lay right. Like I said, it's this rubber overlay piece for the torso that is very nice and soft. It's not anchored down anywhere that I can tell. It moves around when you're trying to pose. Then below the waist is the rest of the tunic that is mounted in between the torso and the crotch, and it's a soft plastic too. Just so rubbery. Baggy pants, but since it's over a skeletal body, it's still thin. It doesn't look like there's muscle mass and then boom, right to bone. It looks like there's an actual skeleton under this clothing. Because you get to the legs, there's some wraps coming down and then the gold bones sticking out. I love the sheen of them. It could have been just yellow or something, but no, it's very, not very, but it's metallic looking enough. The shoulder has a sculpted sleeve that matches the pants with the black color. It goes down to, again, bone just sticking out. Some wrap, some glove down on the hand. The paint is nice and clean. I love this. This design on the front. I don't know what it means. Hey, it fits into the overall design. Browns and tans and grays coming up and around. Is that some green? Even down on the bottom, there's almost this mural painted on. Has some skulls, have some suns, the waves coming down and around. There's a cross up on a hill with some more suns and flowers. Oh, and it comes up over here with some more little design work. Then at the top, what you expect, there's a skull, but it, noticing it looks kind of alien. Very narrow chin, almost horse-like. The crown up on top brings that silver color back again. It's just a fantastic design. For gripes on both of them, I say this every Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary series review, and it's the hand articulation. It's just not as secure when you put things in the hands as a molded hand with a trigger finger would be. And yeah, it's nostalgia back to the old toy biz days when they had moving fingers, but I don't like them. <laughs> and, and you're probably sick of hearing that, but I don't. But at this point in the line, it, it's always been that way, and how consistent they've been figure to figure, package to package, Package, look to look. It'd almost be a shame to change it at this point, <laughs> just for consistency's sake. Going over articulation on Raptor, there is a hinge in the neck going to a ball in the head, but because of this hard collar going around, can look up that far. Down about there. Unfortunately, no tilt. The head has no space up at the top. So a ball is going, well, I'm, I'm assuming it's a ball. It might as well just be a peg. Swivel, butterfly joint at the shoulder, can come forward, can go back. Hinge at the shoulder goes up, rotates around. Swivel at the bicep, double elbow comes up about right there. The glove cuff runs into the bicep. Still not bad. Swivel at the wrist, hinge, unfortunately it's in and out. Fingers go out, fingers go in. Ball joint mid torso, not bad hula hoop. Rotation there, but there's also a swivel at the waist. Ball coming out to the hip comes up, not quite all the way. Goes back, out, ooh, 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 all the way. That's better than Spider-Man. Rotation at the thigh, nicely hidden by one of those straps. Double knee, that was my finger, not the figure. Because of the baggy pants, comes up to here. Past 90, not bad. So we'll let the boot, hinge at the angle goes all the way back, way forward, forward facing pin for rocker, and then toe joint goes boom. For Oro, essentially the same. Hinge at the neck, going up to a ball, but can look way up. <laughs> can look down. Again, might as well be a peg, there's no tilt there. Wah, wah. Swivel, butterfly joint at the shoulder, but because of the shape here, oh, you can see it better right there. Goes forward, goes back, hinge at the shoulder, goes up and I recommend pushing on the shirt itself, not the arm. Because of the tightness there and the thinness here, there's some flex to it. So you kind of want to be careful. Goes all the way around. Swivel at the bicep inside the sleeve. So again, that's another weak point if you're raising and rotating and stuff. Double elbow comes up. Ooh, all the way. Shoulder. Interesting, because of the cuff right there, the hinge is actually on the forearm and goes out and in, and then rotates outside of that. Finger joint, close, open. Is there a dumbbell joint or a ball joint of some kind right there? Gives interesting hula hoop. Tilt, 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 tilt. I think it rotates up there and at the bottom. Because of this, it's hard to see which way is front, but I think that's just a cylinder under there. Ball at the hip comes up all the way, goes back, out, oh, that's better than Peter Parker. Swivel at the thigh, double knee, oh, what do we got here? Easy, boom, 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 boom. Swivel right below the pants line, hinge at the ankle, goes all the way back, forward, forward facing pin for some rocker, toe joint, ba bow. Raptor comes with this nice looking machine gun, yeah, it's a bit cartoony, but for now. Also comes with this shotgun with the silvers and the gunmetal color to the plastic. There's a little red right there. And some gold. Is that... No, that doesn't move. Comes with a grenade launcher, which we've seen in the line before. We may have seen these other ones too, but I, I can't 
so many accessories. Either way, this is what Raptor comes with. Comes with a harvesting tool. This seems to fit his theme with his wolf head on the back, the blade on the front, some brown, some silver, just a good looking weapon. The back bling, right? I mean, he comes with these headphones we haven't looked at yet. This pumpkin that has the purples and the reds. Plugs right in. That looks great. And like I just mentioned, he has this headset. I said headphones, but this is probably some kind of headset. Anybody reading this? From the afterlife! And then like other figures in this line, the faceplate does pop off and in the package it has kind of this just staring past you look that pops off and I like how it fits the seam line of it. It's not as noticeable because of that. There's also an angry face kind of giving you the rock eyebrow that's not hugely different but it's also just eyes peering out from a mask. And then there's a third face with, well I guess the eye is I don't know if it's gouged out or punched or something, or he's winking. How about that? Bing. For Oro's accessories, he comes with a more traditional type shotgun. Comes with this machine gun. Again, may not be realistic, but I, I like the look. Comes with this rocket launcher with kind of a more drab green, some silver, and then up on the rocket is that face. That can be used anywhere you want if you don't want to use it with your Fortnite characters. And I feel like the same goes with this pistol. Again, it's stylized, but if you wanted to use this in your Legends or somewhere else, then it's not too shabby. Go ahead, punk. Harvesting tool that I can't see anybody else using. This fits right in with the overall design scheme of Oro. And the same could be said for this back bling. It's, it has that... Some reds to match the front. The same brown color. And as much as I like the pumpkin, I like this better because it looks like part of the costume. Like it's part of the figure itself. Also, putting the back bling on Oro, it sticks up and it keeps the necklace in place. It doesn't want to slide back because... And then finally, even though it's hard to tell, this faceplate also comes off. And with that, we get a second face that is just barely different than the first. The mouth is just slightly more open. I love how different they are in shape, but they still feel part of the same toy line. Both are about five and seven eighths to the top of their skulls, but then Oro up to the top of his crown is about six and a quarter, which fits in perfect with other characters from the Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary series line. Even when the figures get a bit bigger, like the Jazzwares Fortnite Brawler series. If you're wanting to use them in other toy lines, like Hasbro Star Wars Black series or Hasbro comic book Marvel Legends, the styles kind of veer off, but the sizes work really well. Same goes for G.I. Joe Classified Series. Slightly smaller, but I know a lot of people that have been using this as their Firefly for a while. Here they are next to the Metacom, Moffex, Hush, Batman, and Superman, and the DC Collectibles, DC Icons, Joker, and Batman. So at the end of the day, two more fantastic additions to your Fortnite shelf. After all the great figures we've gotten from this line, I hate seeing Jazzwares lose the license. And I say lose the license, I don't know all the behind the scenes stuff. But it's been a great run and it seems like it's not over. They're still going at it. There may be some stiff articulation points you can't move the head around as much as other action figure lines and getting the weapons in the hands and getting them to keep holding them all goes back to those articulated fingers. I don't like them. But again, I, I, well, I said it was nostalgia back to the old Toy Biz Marvel Legends days. At this point in this line, it's almost nostalgic for this line. But if there was one point besides giving them more tilt up there on that head ball, it would be taking away the fingers. That and going up and down. All of them uses weapons. And speaking of that, again, packed with accessories. And I also went looking for Havoc's head a minute ago, and it blew my mind how many accessories I already have just laying around in a box. And I haven't opened a lot of these figures. I have a lot of them still in the package that I've been planning to do during a, a live stream or something. So yeah, the value of this line with the, the figures you get, the accessories you get, the package is packed, and I'm gonna miss it. But I'm gonna enjoy the rest while we have them, as they come out. I'm hoping they'll be as easy to get as they were here. And that's another thing about the Jazzwares line. No promotion, they just pop up on some site, and then you see them on socials going, hey, new Jazzwares figure out. With other companies, we get all kinds of fanfare and live streams, which I like. Hey, give me some pictures, show me what we're gonna get. But there's also something to be said about just Surprise! Here you go. There's some figures to buy. But again, not over yet. Still have more to get. So if you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. See if I can do this without knocking their weapons out. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or just in a position to help out the channel. Patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, 
always catch you on the whoosh. Yeah, Skeleton Warrior is cool. You can stick him anywhere. Some kind of underworld demon coming back or, or some kind of lackey for a magic user or a character to himself. But then there's also the humans that you can throw in the backgrounds of dioramas, ACBA, whatever you feel like doing here. And then I just realized about the weapons. They may be cartoony, but it's better than no weapons. Right, WB? 